Hey everybody, I'm back with you to share a couple more things I completed yesterday. Um, so the first project is this cute little pin cushion holder that I created. Um, I used this fabric, it's really really pretty. And I just added it, I, well I sewed it, I stitched it, I just cut out a circle and then did a running stitch around the edge and then pulled a little bit and then stuffed it with some batting, like lots of batting. And these are all the stick pins that I received from ladies. Um, and then I took a, this little lid portion of a, um, my little charm, I mean, my charms that I get and, um, like this little charm holder that I got at Target long, long time ago. And I just connected the two together, um, just to make a longer one and just had that extra little bottom too. And I was like, oh, well, let's see what I can do. So this is what I created I, after I put the ribbon, after I put the cushion in, um, I added the backing and then I ended up gluing it on here anyway in the lid. And then I added some cute shiny ribbon that I got at um, Walmart. Then I got this trim and glued it. And then the last thing I did was glue these feathers on here. So there's a little pin cushion. Then... Um, because I have one that my mother-in-law gave me that she altered, and that's full of my pin cushions. So, and then here's this pretty um, brooch pin that I made with the same fabric, and I did the same thing with the circles. Um, just did a running stitch and then flattened it out, like I did here. Um, I'll show those in a minute. And then I added the button, and then I sewed it through with the lace, and then I attached that. I sewed a, or I hot glued actually the little pink sheer ribbon and then I hot glued the feathers and then it needed something so I ended up the pearls. So it's just backed like that with the little brooch pin. So there's another project I finished. Then here's another thing. This is the scraps that I got from my, um, that big the bigger book that I created and um, so I just took some cardstock, black cardstock and did this. So I covered the front and back with chipboard and then the rest of it's cardstock. So I went ahead and um, binded it with the same ribbon because it's black and white polka dots and it's loose enough to, for it to expand. Um, but it's pretty simple. Um, here is what I created. So I used a coffee filter again and distressed it. I did add some stickles to it, which you cannot see on camera. Um, I did add some stickles to the black here. And then underneath the coffee filter is fabric rose as well as some fabric flowers underneath these white ones. Um, so I took the a white frame and... Um, just edged it and added stickles and then you can stick a photo behind there and if you can see the stickles it's so bright in my house um, and then I took this trim and I glued it up side to side so on the inside this is how I did it so I created two um, like it was a four by two I believe and or no let's see I think it was like four by twelve scored at, um, oh god, I can't remember, but, <laughs> let me see, um, so this was at about four inches wide, and then I just scored it at, or I punched it with my doily punch, and then I scored it at two inches, um, well, these, the flat from here to the score line is two inches, and then I just scored it at the quarter on, on both sides. So, there's two inches here, two inches here, and it's scored on a quarter on each side. So, I did that with all the pages, and then with the envelope, I just took, it's not an envelope, I made an envelope, and it's about four and a half by four inches, and it's smaller because, you know, you have to glue the sides. But first I created this little book, black and white little book to go in. And I left it plain on the front so that you can add a picture, buttons. And then it's like a little book and I used some cardstock. So there's room for pictures. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and then ten if you want on the back. Maybe. So you can add more or whatever. And then a simple tag on this side, front and back, and it just slides right in there. And then I just use the pearls. And then on each one, there's a mat with a decorative strip and then plain on the back. So there's. And it just tucks right in. And then same thing here photo mat. So I did black and white. I did white cardstock and then black on top and then vice versa with the tags and stuff um, and the tabs. Um, I just did all black and then white tabs. So it's pretty simple, easy. Um, it's a small tiny book but you can still actually fit a lot of pictures in it. Um, give it as a gift. Um, on this one I like this one. So I made a little band to hold this in place, Let's pop it out, and I just hot glued the back. And then here it goes. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you got, you know, it's eight on the back. So you've got like two sides to actually add photos or do some journaling. So that just closes like that, and then you can just put the little band. And I left enough room for it to expand if you add more, you know, pictures and stuff like that and whatnot. Um, on the inside, so it's really cute. Another mat. This one's a little smaller frame. And then you can actually add photos on these sides and then, you know, cover it if you need to. Here's another one. Gotta wiggle it in there sometimes. Um, this one's a little bit bigger than some of the other ones. And I just used my Martha Stewart charcoal black ink to actually um, distress all the edges on all the um, pages and the tags and stuff. So it's really pretty. Oops. Pulled out one too many. Um, I actually pulled out the a little tag for the next one. Um, so, and then this one I use a different trim on the ends. I like this one. And then on. The okay, honey. Up. Oh, I gotta glue that down. I don't like it dangling. Um, and then I have another mat. And then that is the end of the book. So, and then I just, you know. I left enough spacing like I did here, like in the um, Mariposa book, to add the photos and everything in it. And then um, I did, I have started um, a layered flower. It's like, so it's just all sewn on there, the little button. And then I've got the smaller version, so that's what I have so far. I've got more cut out to do. So, and then I've got this Prima jar that was given to me by had um, stick pins by Fiona uh, last year. I'm gonna actually gonna make something with it. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Bye.